Hey YouTube, it's ICU and today I'm going to show you guys how to jailbreak iOS 6 or 6.0 on the iPhone 4, the iPhone 3GS, as well as the fourth generation iPod Touch. Now to start off, this is a tethered jailbreak tutorial, which means you will need to plug your device into your computer and rerun a certain part of Red Snow every time you want to boot your device up, and I'll go over that when we get to it in this tutorial. Now before you get into it, I just wanted to say that I was a little hesitant to make this tutorial at first, simply because the iPhone dev team has yet to upgrade Red Snow. However, I am making it now because of the numerous questions I've received pertaining to this tutorial and the requests asking me to make it. So I'm making it now. Of course, I will make a tutorial once Red Snow is upgraded to actually include support for Cydia. What we're going to do though is basically add SSH access to our device and then from there we will have to SSH into it and run a simple string of code to actually install Cydia on it. However, just keep in mind if it was actually this simple, the iPhone dev team would have pushed out an updated Red Snow version by now. So of course there could be errors that you run into resulting in the need to actually restore your device through iTunes. So just keep that in mind before you proceed with this tutorial. Also just note that certain packages in Cydia have yet to be updated to include support for iOS 6. Now with all of that said, you will need to download Red Snow and I will have download links on the post that I have a link to down below in the more info to Red Snow for both Mac and Windows based computers. Now once you have it downloaded, you will also need your iOS 6 IPSW which can easily be downloaded online. And I will also have a download link to that on the post that's down below. So once you have those two things downloaded, simply open up Red Snow. Now once Red Snow is open, go to Extras down below at the bottom, and then go to Select IPSW, and then simply browse for your iOS 6 IPSW or firmware and select it. Once you have it selected, it will say successfully identified, and then you can continue from there by clicking OK. Now we're going to hit Back, and then select the top option, Jailbreak, and then from here it will start to prepare the jailbreak data. Now just make sure you have Install SSH checked, as that's what we need for this tutorial. I'm going to zoom in here just to show you guys. Again, we do need the Install SSH option checked to install Cydia, and then from here, Simply go next. And now it's telling you to both please plug in your device and power it off, and then it's going to go through the steps of how to actually enter DFU mode. However, we can do that ahead of time to automatically bypass this screen. It is very simple. Just make sure that your device is plugged into your computer via the USB cable. And once it is, you can hold down the home and power button together for a total of 10 seconds. Now, once that 10 seconds is up, you have to let go of the power button and continue holding the home button for roughly 10 to 15 seconds. When you get it right, this screen will automatically bypass and it will go through the actual jailbreak process. If you don't get it right the first time, you can have numerous opportunities to try and enter DFU mode. Just note that DFU mode is a black screen as well, so you will not see anything such as the iTunes Restore logo. And now of course it is just going through the process over here in Red Snow and it's downloading the jailbreak data on the iPhone right now. And now it's just running through the process and it's notifying you that the rest of it will take place on your device. We can click OK to this. Now I'm just going to let this run through and I'm not going to cut anything out so you guys can see exactly how long this process takes.
Also take into account that times could vary for you depending on the computer you're using and the USB port you're plugged into. All right, now it's just finishing up by installing the bundles here and it should reboot shortly. And then from there, we're going to continue with the tutorial by booting into its tethered state. So just wait for it to boot back up. This should just take the normal amount of time it takes for your device to turn on. All right, now we are booted back up. Again, this only installs SSH, so you will not see anything on your device such as Cydia. Let's go ahead and unlock there after a couple failed attempts. And now what we're going to do again is leave our device plugged into the computer and then close out of Red Snow and we're going to reopen Red Snow and the reason is just to refresh everything. And from here we're going to go to Extras again and then also go to Select IPSW and browse for your iOS 6 IPSW or firmware. Once it's identified you will get this message again and simply click OK to it. And then from there select the top option which is Just Boot. Once you've selected that, it will tell you to both make sure your device is plugged in and powered off. Again, we can bypass this screen ahead of time simply by plugging in our device and holding down the home and power button together for a total of 10 seconds. Now, once that 10 seconds is up, let go of the power button and continue holding the home button for roughly 10 to 15 seconds. When you've entered DFU mode, again, it will automatically bypass this screen and go through the process. Just note again that DFU mode is a black screen. All right, there we go. Now it has exploited it and it's booting up into its tethered state. Now this should only be slightly longer than it takes for your device to turn back on normally. Also, keep in mind that every time your device powers off, whether you need to reboot it or because it dies, you will have to plug it back into your computer and run the just boot portion of Red Snow after you've selected your IPSW. All right, now that we're back up, we can go ahead and slide to unlock. And now is the important part, and it's kind of where it gets tricky. So you will need to pay attention. Again, I do have written instructions down below in the more info. Just make sure you visit that post. Everything is detailed there, including the code that you need to execute to actually install Cydia. And what we need to do is open up the settings application, go to Wi-Fi, make sure you're connected to your Wi-Fi network, and then simply hit that blue arrow next to it to reveal more information on the network. And now that you're here, look at the top and look for the IP address. That's what we need to actually enter into our SSH program. Again, because I am on a Mac, I will just be able to use terminal. If you're on a Windows based computer, however, you will need to download an application to actually SSH into your device. Now, like I said, the written instructions will detail that for Windows users. So we can go ahead and exit out of Red Snow at this point. Like I said, just make sure to note your IP address and then open up terminal or the SSH program I recommend if you are on Windows. Now that we have it up right here, what we're going to do is simply SSH into our device. Now this can be accomplished with a simple string of code. We're just going to type in SSH space root, R-O-O-T, at 
and then use the IP address we received from the settings application. Once it's entered, you can go ahead and press return. Now this request could take some time to process. Also, just be sure you are connected to the same Wi-Fi network as your iOS device. And then from here, when it asks you if you want to connect, depending on the SSH program, you're just going to proceed. In this case with terminal, I have to type in yes and then hit return. And now from here, it's going to ask for the SSH password. This is just Alpine, A-L-P-I-N-E, all lowercase, no spaces. And once you've entered that, just go ahead and hit return. And now we do have root access, so we're going to execute the code that will download Cydia onto our device. So like I said, down below in the more info, just be sure to visit that post. It does have this string of code that you will need to enter. I've already copied it, so I can just paste it into terminal and then execute it. And now it's just going through the process. Again, this could take some time depending on a couple of things, including your internet connection. As you can see, our device is kind of acting strange over here. That's fine, just let it do its thing. All right, it did just finish its respring and now we can slide to unlock. As you can see, we do have Cydia on our iPhone 4 here and you will have Cydia on whichever device you jailbreak iOS 6 with, whether it be the iPhone 4, the iPhone 3GS or the fourth generation iPod Touch. So first though, I just wanted to prove to you guys that I am indeed on iOS 6 by going inside of settings, general, about, and down below here for the version it does say that I am on 6.0 as you can see. Also, I'm just going to open up Cydia and show you inside of Cydia that we are on an iPhone 4 on iOS 6. It will confirm, but first it has to prepare the file system. Now Cydia will automatically exit once it's complete. Now this portion depends on how much data is actually on your device, so it could take some time. It all just depends. All right, now that it finished, it did just do a quick respring and we can go ahead and slide to unlock. Now, again, going over, you will notice that we do still have Cydia and we can open it now and completely browse through Cydia. So I'm just going to select user and then cancel the refresh and we're going to scroll down to the bottom and I'll show you again that I am on an iPhone 4 with iOS 6. So as you can see down below at the bottom, we do have an iPhone 4 GSM model running iOS 6 with Cydia 1.1.6 for iOS 6. 
So I hope you guys liked this video. Please be sure to rate it up if you did and it helped you jailbreak. Leave your comments down below in the comments section and don't forget to hit that subscribe button to be notified every time I release new jailbreak videos, including the iOS 6 official tethered jailbreak, which will be much easier than this jailbreak tutorial. And until next time, this is ICU signing out.